Thank you for joining me here for the Daily Bread Bible Study. We are studying one chapter, 21 verses, just for today, for Obadiah, on day 263 of the Daily Bread Bible Study, for Saturday, September 19th, 2020. Obadiah, in our review of it, is a rather short book of the Bible, 21 verses long, and references the comment, the conflict with Edom, which was a common experience in other parts of the Bible. So let's go through a little bit of this um, relationship with Edom and with Israel and Judah here um, in the Bible. So Edom references the descendants of Esau, and Esau was the older brother of Jacob, who became known as Israel. So Edom create, or Esau created the Edomites and Jacob created the Israelites. Now, one of the biggest interactions was that after the Israelites escaped from slavery in Egypt in Numbers 20, verse 18, they refused to help them. But Edom said to him, You shall not pass through, or we will come out with the sword against you. They also tried to subvert the leaders of Israel saying there in 1 Kings eleven fourteen, Then the Lord raised up an adversary against Solomon, Hadad the Edomite, and he was the royal house in Edom. They are also considered to be enemies of God's chosen people. Um, here, uh, from a reference, uh, Moab is their wash basin. On Edom I will hurl my shoe. Over Philistia I shout in triumph. So, included with Moab and the Philistines as enemies of God's chosen. A very important part is that in Psalm 137, they are referenced as being present in fighting with the Babylonians in the sacking of Jerusalem. Uh, Psalm 137 verse 7 says, Remember, O Lord, against the Edomites the day of Jerusalem's fall, how they said, tear it down, tear it down, down to its foundations. O daughter Babylon, you devastator, happy shall be those who pay you back for what you have done to us. So there we get the idea of Babylon and Edom being connected as they are both fighting against Jerusalem on the day it is sacked. Now, Edom might win a battle over Israel, but God's chosen will have the last laugh. In Jeremiah 49, verse 16, we hear these words, Although you make your nest as high as the eagles, from there I will bring you down, says the Lord. And this is directed at Edom. So all of this reference to Edom, the relationships that they have with God's uh, elect in Israel, all of these are brought forth here in the book of um, Obadiah because they're referenced and all of these things are important to be known so that way you can understand what's happening in the book of Obadiah. So in Obadiah chapter 1 we see the downfall, downfall is plotted for the proud-hearted Edomites. In verse 7, all your allies have deceived you. They have driven you to the border. Your confederates have prevailed against you. Those who ate your bread have set a trap for you. There is no understanding of it. I imagine this is probably the Babylonians because there is a reference of fighting against the Israelites, namely the sacking of Jerusalem by the Babylonians in 587 BCE, starting in verse 10. For the slaughter and violence done to your brother Jacob, shame shall cover you and you shall be cut off forever. On the day that you stood aside, on the day that strangers carried off his wealth and foreigners entered his gates and cast lots for Jerusalem, you too were like one of them. But you should not have gloated over your brother on the day of his misfortune. You should not have rejoiced over the people of Judah on, his day, on the day of their ruin. You should not have boasted on the day of distress." The crimes against Judah include being a part of those who bring destruct destruction upon Judah. Here again, I think it's the 
uh, sacking of Jerusalem by the Babylonians in 587 BCE. Laughing at Judah's destruction is another crime. Looting Judah, killing those who flee, and enslaving the survivors, all things that Edom did against Judah. God's judgment upon the nations is coming in verse 15. For the day of the Lord is near against all the nations. As you have done, so shall it be done to you. Your deeds shall return on your own head. And thus we end with, in verse 21, the reversal of fortunes that will occur where Jerusalem will take charge over the remnant of Edom in verse 21. Those who have been saved shall go up to Mount Zion to rule Mount Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. So may we learn to not laugh at others' misfortunes. May we remember that we in some ways are each other's brothers and sisters, to not help plunder those um, in misfortune, but to remember that we are called to raise up and support others. And God ultimately will set things right, even um, in the midst of terrible destruction and violence. So may you turn to God for your deliverance, and may God provide it quick. It's uh, all these things that we think about. Um, we That's what I'm going to leave you with here in the book of Obadiah. So thanks for joining me. I look forward next time to the book of Jonah.